What's going on, Jerome's? So we are going to fire up a seven-round Vikings mock draft, and free agency is rolling along. The draft is barreling towards us a, a little over a month away, and the Vikings have some options. They have 11 and 23 after making a trade with the Texans. Can they move up? Will they stick and pick? Who, know, who knows? So in, in this scenario, since yeah, we, we have a lot of time to the draft. What's up, Sylvie? Uh, we are going to stay put at 11. And just see what happens from there. Not, not guaranteeing that we're going to stay put at 23, uh, but let's see what the hell happens. So uh, we have, actually, there's really good pod here. Zooming in and enhancing. All right, so uh, Caleb Williams, one, Drake May, Jane Daniels, Joe Alt, Harrison Jr. Ooh, McCarthy. I think that's his floor at six. And I, I think uh, if we can find a place where we could bet good money where four of the top six picks are quarterbacks, I think that's what's going to happen. And for the Vikings, like, I mean, they probably like McCarthy, they like Daniels, they like May. But maybe the juice isn't worth the squeeze of moving on up. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, Malik Neighbors goes to the Titoons. Uh, Talisa Fuaga uh, going to the, the Falcons. Yeah, all right. Uh, and then Roma Dunze and Dallas Turner. So the Vikings are on the clock at 11. So you, you could just straight up go quarterback here. Uh, but we got a couple of trade offers. I would like to stay put. Well, I mean, the rate... Raiders want to come up two spots. Well, let, let, let's just see. All right, so the Raiders and the Commies. So, no, no the Commies. Uh, all right, so the Raiders want to come up. It's going to cost you, Chief. Let me zoom out a little bit more. All right, so it said that this has a 3% chance of working out. Okay, two spots, and we want, we want your third and your fourth. Also, we want our seventh back from the Nick Mullins trade, which is kind of funny. Offer trade, enhance. One more time. Ooh, baby. All right, so moving down two spots, getting a third and a fourth and a seventh resume. All right, so they take uh, to, uh, Fashanu and uh, Taron Arnold goes to the Broncos. Now, I, I'm, I'm I'm really happy. So I wanted Murphy. I wanted Jerzon Newton at the spot. Uh, Quinny Mitchell also is in that mix. Uh, yeah, maybe verse, maybe a lot too. Uh, got a couple more trade offers. So 17, uh, moving down four spots. Can we get a... Can we finesse a second round pick out of this? 35%. I mean, do you want to get nuts? Also, give me 236 because just because I want it. Oh, baby. All right, so sliding on down. All right, so uh, Quinion Mitchell goes off the board. Jared Verse, uh, Fatanu, uh, Byron Murphy the second. And again, Johnny Newton is there. Nate Wiggins is there. I, I, I'm feeling good. Uh, all right, so l let's recap what, what the hell we have. So we're not, we're not trading, but we just want to look at the pick. So. Uh, we got still have 17 and 23. Uh, we have 40 uh, second round pick from Jacksonville. Uh, we're back in the third from the Raiders. Actually, Buccaneers want to move up. Uh, do we gamble that Johnny Newton is there at 23? I mean, we could. Well, hey, Bucks, the juice has to be worth the squeeze, man. Uh, oh, so they'll give up a second. <laughs> we are getting drunk. How many picks are we going to have? It, it's fun Sunday. Who cares? All right. Uh, so, uh, again, I, I would not have made that move from 17 to 26 uh, if the Vikings didn't have 23 in their back pocket. So that's very important. So now Johnny Newton, yoink. Uh, so Johnny Newton, that, that quick penetration, that Geno Atkins adjacent type play uh, also is solid against the run. Just a disruption uh, up front. That is the name of the game uh, for the Vikings moving forward. All right. So we, we got our penetrating defensive tackle uh, now at... So we're at 26. I kind of want to get back into the back end of the first round. All right. So the Niners. Uh, I don't, I don't want to move down that far. All right. So uh, up next, Kansas City. Actually, Niners, are you interested in 48? Uh, we can make it worth your while. Uh, all right. So 31 for 48, 108, and, and 129. Or how about 157? All right. There's nothing wrong. All right, so we, we did it. So the Vikings uh, now have three. All right, so let's uh, let's take a look here. All right, so Vikings took Johnny Newton at 23. We have 26. Uh, we have 31 and uh, also 50, uh, 57. We're still in the second round. Uh, third rounder, fourth, couple fourths. Uh, we, we got plenty of picks. We got plenty of picks. So now JPJ is just there sitting, chilling, wait, winking at me. But I can't get over Zach Frazier. 
I just love the tenacity. I mean, he played through a broken leg. Uh, wrestling background plays a great leverage. And Zach, Fra- like, he, he doesn't have the size uh, of Jackson Power Johnson, but he has starter experience, and he does. <sighs> Don't get me wrong. Like, J- JPJ is going to be solid, but I-, I just think Frazier fits in with what the Vikings want to do up front, and I – I really love Zach Frazier. So uh, we, we got our center of the future. Uh, could, hell, do we just cut or trade Bradbury at this point? Who knows? All right, so at the back end uh, of the first round, and yes, uh, the choice does come down to quarterback. And I'm not the biggest Bo Nix fan in the world. I, I understand the intangibles. I, I understand uh, he put up big numbers at Oregon. I understand the moxie and, and leadership. But – he wasn't great at Auburn. Now, that doesn't discount him because, I mean, players can improve. But I feel like there's just too much manufactured numbers from Oregon. And Nick's, you know, he struggled at the Senior Bowl, throwing it vertically. And also, in terms of, not even just that, like, you don't have to have the biggest arm in the world to succeed. I mean, Peyton Manning didn't have a cannon. But can you deliver with enough velocity to hit open windows underneath? And that's what matters. And Nick's... A Penix, you're gambling on the health. Fully understand that. But if he can stay healthy, and it's a big if, his upside is there. His upside is there where it isn't there with Bo Nix. I feel like Bo Nix, his ceiling is a solid backup, like a, a Chase Daniels uh, type career. Not that there's anything wrong with that, right? Uh, and Rattler, <laughs> Rattler's a wild card man. Although, although I, I, I do like. Spencer Rattler, but uh, we are we are going to take uh, Penix in this spot. At 31, you have the fifth-year option, and, and you're good to go. So we got the defensive tackle. We got the center. We have the quarterback. Uh, Fisk is there. Uh, Jonathan Brooks. Marshawn Nealand? Baby. Certainly good after things. Chris Jenkins. Marshawn, Marshawn Nealand's going to be great. Row the boat. Uh, Roman Wilson. And I feel like Roman Wilson – is like a perfect combination of Amandre St. Brown and Tyler Lockett. That would be so fun as wide receiver three. I mean, the Vikings do have other needs, but I mean, Roman Wilson is just there winking at us. F it. You know, F it. I mean, the Vikings didn't need a wide receiver in 1998 because they already had 1,000 yard Jake Reed and also Chris Carter. So F it. F it. F it. F it. F your mom. F your face. F, F everyone. My mock draft. Ooh. So now, I mean, Devontae Sweat is just there chilling, winking at us. Uh, Gabe Murphy, Bucky Irving, Trotter Jr. I mean, we're not usually in the third round. But, so, do I do my famous thing where we just get two draft picks in a row? <laughs> I mean, we could. Uh, all right, so, trades. Except we want to move up to the east side. Finally got a piece of the pie. Commies, we want that third round pick. Um, basically, they're just, they're just saying no. Okay. Uh, who's that? Falcons. 7-9. Uh, yeah, I don't think this is going to work. Now, this hurts because Tavondre Sweat is a stud, but... I just feel like the upside of Trotter is there. Yeah. And don't get me wrong. I, I love me some Devondre Sweat. Probably always will. Pride of Texas hooking, baby. But, yeah, we're, we're go. <sighs> th- th- this is tough. This is really tough. Ah, yeah, yeah, it's screw it, screw it, screw it. Devondre Sweat. There you go. Screw it, screw it, screw it. If the Vikings hadn't signed Cashman to a substantial deal, could have gone Trotter in that spot. And now... All right, so Eichenberg is there. Uh, Estime. So Estime running a 4.56 at his pro day is is huge. Uh, Cam Hart, a length on the outside. Taylor the third. Uh, Elijah Jones. Cooper Beebe is just there chilling. I love everything about this. Hmm. All right, so here uh, we are going to take uh, Estime at 112. So adding some size and some power. Uh, he, he doesn't have breakaway speed, but uh, I think he checks the boxes of being fast enough. Also, his uh, agility in short area is good. Uh, now, I mean, do we double down on offensive line? I, I mean, we certainly can. Uh, Christian Boyd. Uh, Cooper Beebe. You know what it is. All right, so we, we got size. The pride of Kansas State. You know, we traded in uh, Kansas State guard Dalton Reisner in for a younger version. 
feel like that happens sometimes. Uh, Dylan, ooh. <laughs> Nugent, Dylan Loeb, uh, Namaya Pritchett. So, uh, Durante Jones was at the Auburn Pro Day. I, I, I do like Pritchett a lot in this spot. I also love Jalen Simpson. Uh, so, Simpson is sort of a cornerback safety slot hybrid. I feel like that would be good. Make my feel good. We got, we got 75,000 picks left. All right, so uh, we're going to take Pritchett here, and we're going to try and get Jalen. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Teammates. Quasi loves drafting teammates. All right, so that secondary gets a boost. Also, we, we have five seventh-round picks. So now I'm just going to take whoever the hell I want. That's right. Do we take a second quarterback? Because, I mean, why, why not? Uh, uh, Carter Bradley. I'd, I'd rather take a shot on Bradley. There you go. Uh, so now, all right, so we got four. Other, all right, so Curtis Jacobs, downhill linebacker, special teams guy. Uh, Talia Rashim, Tevin Wallace. Yeah, Evan, Evan Anderson and, and Tavondre Sweat. Why the hell not? Let's feed. Let, 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 let's just feed families. We're back to having the meats. I went to the danger zone. Uh, let's see, Trajan Jeff Code is uh, no. I'm I'm drafting the punter. Screw you guys. The Aussie, 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 oi, 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 Tory Taylor, the second most famous athlete from um, Iowa right now, behind Caitlin Clark. Uh, last one is 246. So what do we do? Uh, Timmy Smith. Sam Hartman. Do, do we take three quarterbacks? Because that would be funny to me. That would actually be really, really funny. Um, oh, Gabe Hall. I, I don't expect Gabe Hall to be there in the seventh. But, eh. Eh. All right, we'll take Spanford. Even though, probably could have got him as a UDFA. As like a regional pick, but, you know. Uh, zoom in and enhance. Hmm. I feel really good about this. Uh, again, this is... Um, if the Vikings decide to do some business, so let's recap these trades. So 11 down to 13 with the Raiders for a third. Uh, the Raiders came up for who they come. Raiders came up for uh, Quinnian. Uh, no, uh, they came up for Old Oh, there you go. There you go. Uh, then the Vikings traded with the Jaguars. They traded with the Bucks. Uh, so eventually they ended up with 23, 26, and 31 through a, a bunch of different ma machinations of trades. Uh, but Johnny Newton, that quick first-step penetration, uh, is going to be a dog along the defensive line. Zach Frazier is going to be your, your future center of the fu uh, future. center of the future. Close enough. Uh, but you just got that dog. And I, I love Zach Frazier. Almost heaven. Uh, Penix Jr., again, Southpaw Sam Bradford, everything applies. The health, but the upside is, is certainly there. Uh, Penix with Darnold as well as uh, as well as Nick Mullins and the Mormon Missile and Carter Bradley getting after things. Uh, I think Bradley does have uh, some upside. I, I do like the arm. I do like the size. So, yeah. Uh, and also, uh, as an homage to pretty Ricky Spielman, we end up with five seventh rounders. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, into the meat of this draft. So, Roman Wilson. I mean, Roman Wilson was the ultimate luxury pick where Wilson in the slot, Wilson working with JJ, working with, uh, working with Addison. I kind of like it. Like, do the Vikings have an alkaline trio of receivers? Like, I like Brandon Powell, man, but Wilson was just too good to pass up at this spot. Devondre Sweat uh, in the middle, as well as Evan Anderson in the seventh round. We have the meets. Zero. Zero reason why the Vikings should be pushed around along the defensive line. Uh, Audric Estime, uh, powerful running back from uh, Notre Dame. Uh, check check the box speed-wise. Not, not a home run hitter, but a guy that has power, can run man or zone, uh, can run inside the tackles, uh, has some nice shiftiness as well. Uh, so I think him with Aaron a Jones as well as Ty Chandler, that's a hell of a running back room. Uh, Cooper Beebe getting in the interior offensive line spot where – I mean, Cooper Beebe's got size for days. Uh, he's got enough short area quickness where he's not going to be a liability in outside zone, but having some ass, having some mass uh, along the offensive line is important. Uh, two teammates, uh, Durante Jones is at the Auburn Pro Day, and Maya Pritchett on the outside, as well as Jalen Simpson. Uh, I really love his versatility, uh, adding some depth to that secondary uh, for Flores. Bradley, we talked about. Curtis Jacobs uh, as a sort of jack-of-all-trades, do-it-all linebacker, going to play some special teams, maybe work his way up. Evan Anderson. He's my guy. Uh, I think that he's going to go a lot higher than the seventh round. Uh, I think the secret might be out on Everett Anderson. Wouldn't be shocked if he's an early day three selection. Well, maybe not early. Maybe mid-day three. Uh, Torrey Taylor. Ryan Wright. 
your days are numbered. Aussie, 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 oi, oi, oi. Uh, Brevin Span Ford, the pride of St. Cloud. So he's big. He's very large. He's he's a very large. Honestly, if they take Brevin Span Ford and decide to put like 30 pounds on him, could he be an offensive tackle? I, it wouldn't be the most insane thing in the world since uh, his receiving numbers. I don't know, man. Uh, but he's big. So there you go. Uh, but that's it. I mean, the Vikings, maybe not being able to trade up could be a blessing in disguise. Because, yes, maybe you do miss out on May Daniels or McCarthy. But you do have the gamble on Penix. You're able to uh, address both trenches. You have the ultimate upside luxury pick in Roman Wilson. Uh, so I'm pretty and happy if this is how it went down man uh but that's it your thoughts are thoughts you guys know what to do skull production value